All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, where we left off yesterday. We got the fender skins all shaved down. God, what a fucking mess. So yeah, I'm gonna get this area kind of cleaned up. Get some of the scrap metal out of the way. We also clearanced here and up front for turning radius. So now what I'm gonna do is take that cardboard box and make a template for a uh, air ram box to stick out the side here where the fenders are gonna come down to. I'm gonna get that mocked up first. I can make a, a cardboard template and then I can trace it onto this metal and then flip it over and trace another one for the other side and then bend it up and tack it on and then put the rear fender on and put the front fender on and blah blah fucking blah so that's where we're at shout out to the guy who asked me why the long face on one of my other videos because i'm a gay horse um just a friendly reminder to everyone on the internet that thinks there's oh so funny talking shit or making fun of people or calling people a gay faggot um just know that we know that you were sexually molested as a child by probably your father and all of his brothers and uh neighborhood kids so you're a piece of shit no one likes you and that's why you have to talk shit in comments on youtube so enjoy your shit life working at the gas station down the street from your mother's house and fucking your cousin all right back to work All right, that's much better. Now, we can get to work on the side. Need a tape measure and a razor blade and a marker. So we have a piece of cardboard here that I can now mount up to the side with some tape, make sure it's the shape and size that I want, cut any angles that I need out of this, and then it'll transfer directly over to the cardboard. Okay, so now that I've got the general template marked out, I can double the width, trace it onto the sheet metal, then flip it over, trace it again, and then I'll have two pieces I can cut out, one for each side, and then that will match up with the wide body fender. And once I tack these in place, then I can start tacking the rear fender into place. So now, to trace them to the sheet metal, and then I can cut them out, so here we go. All right, so I got this piece all bent up. I'm gonna go ahead and wire wheel the area where the tacks are gonna be, and then I'm gonna position it, throw a couple tacks to hold it into place, and then uh, go from there. Now I'm pretty sure I've got the piece where it's gonna fit exactly. I've grinded off the area so there's no paint contaminating the welds. Now I'm gonna tack the top into place and then bend the bottom down to where it matches the frame rail and then tack that. And then once everything's tacked perfectly, I'll go ahead and finish weld it in. One side done, now I can uh, probably put on the other side, make sure they're both on and lined up the right way. And then I can uh, put on the rear fenders and then make the spacers for the front fenders and get those tacked on and then uh, should be done. All right, got this side all welded on, sprayed out. Got the inner fender well sprayed out black, ready for the extended front fenders. 
So this side's done. This side's done. So tomorrow we put on the fenders. And then she'll be done done. Like if you like, subscribe if you want. And keep on modding.